Charlotte. Keyword Uptown. Welcome to the Wheelhouse. This is where the Queen City begins again. Hang out with residents from West Charlotte, and they seem to have a special connection to that part of town. There's a synergy that's happening there that makes you believe great things are about to go on. That's why photojournalist Marvin Beach and I decided to roll into the wild, wild west. If I can tell anybody anything is, you know, come on over to the wild, wild west because it's a great place. We have a ball over here. It's the synergy that's sort of happening that you just know that great things are about to go on. If you want to see how wild West Charlotte can be, when I roll into the Spend some time with two people working to remake this part of town. A tattooed biker who cooks and a former judge. I think uh, there's room for both. Greg Auten is a co-owner of Pinky's Westside Grill at Freedom and Moorhead. Wrestling, racing, and old movie posters remind you of what Charlotte and the West Side used to be. All these movies we saw as kids, we'd see them in the old uh, Viking Twin drive-in theater up there. Greg's the real deal. A West Sider whose grandfather once brought the family's Volkswagen to a repair shop on this corner. And that explains the beetle on the roof. This area has been deserving of, of something to kind of boost it for a while. I thought that the school would be a real catalyst to a distress area. So our students. Former Superior Court Judge Shirley Fulton is chair of the Board of Trustees at Charlotte School of Law. Elected to the bench in 1989, Judge Fulton moved to the Wesley Heights neighborhood during that time. So when it came to starting a law school, I was sort of biased to the west side. Hoping this building on the edge of Uptown could be a gateway to a revitalized area. We're trying to steer people up Freedom Drive and up further up Moorhead to Wilkinson and, you know, let them know that there are some positive things over here already. While on one side of West Charlotte, you have restaurants, unique shops, and a thriving historic Wesley Heights neighborhood. On the other end, you have a three-runway airport, lowering the transportation industry. In between, you have the Wilkinson Business Park, a shopping center anchored by a Walmart superstore, a local credit union, and an old Dairy Queen store that adds character to the west side. We wanted to focus on what we had and not what we didn't have. Unfortunately, this part of town still has abandoned buildings and empty lots. Some see this as representing the west side. But others see potential, and these two west siders are helping to make it happen. One of the things we uh, are really proud of is that since we've opened here, we're seeing families walk by with children in strollers, uh, families walking their dogs, people out running. Uh, and you know, three or four years ago, you didn't see that. Come on! You can feel it, and you can see it, and you can hear people talking about it. The Charlotte School of Law is now accredited by the American Bar Association. That's a big deal. Graduates can sit for the bar exam in any state. And this coming year, students from Johnson C. Smith can enroll in a dual degree program for undergrad and a JD. Well, we want to hear from you. Head to our web channel, foxcharlotte.com, and click the Reboot Charlotte tab. You can give us your feedback. And, of course, you can see all of our special reports.